In this video tutorial, I will be showing you the hue, saturation, and lightness effect in the Hitfilm for Express Video Editor. You can find this effect in the color corrections folder under the effects tab. To apply this effect, you left click, hold, and drag it to your desired video clip that you want to apply it to and let go of the left mouse button. Now that the effect is, uh, has been applied, I'll go ahead and open up the options. And basically, you have master options red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. And these are all separate controls for that specific color. And these all, um, all have the same options as you can see, which are hue shift, saturation, and lightness. Hue shift basically changes the color of the image. Like so. White remains white. But everything that has a specific color changes, as you can see. And you can uh, select a specific color if you desire, like red, and only ch um, do a hue shift, saturation, or lightness effect on that particular color, like so. And for yellow. So basically, if uh, for any of the yellow in the image, or red in the image, green in the image, you can uh, go ahead and customly um, change the configurations so whether you want it want to uh, shift the hue the saturation or lightness and by the way the saturation basically di dictates the amount of color present in that image how vivid the colors come out at zero it's you get a black and white image at two you uh, make the colors a lot more vivid and more uh, and pop it, uh, make it pop out more like this as you can see and lightness is just a bright, uh, like a brightness effect. Basically, if you want it dark or very bright, like so. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some cool keyframing you can do with this. I'll go ahead and show you in this video clip. So let's say um, we go to the FX tab over here, the hue, saturation, and lightness. We're just gonna do masters. I just want to uh, make it like shift through all the colors, like a rainbow effect. We'll just um, enable keyframing over here. We'll uh, uh, we'll allow it to start at zero. Maybe I want to give it some time. Maybe like a split second. Is that one second? Yes, one second. And then I'm gonna start making it uh, go through uh, different colors. Maybe for like uh, ten seconds. And then. We can I see. So one thing, uh, as I can see, is that it only allows you to do for um go through um 180 to negative 180. So let's just keep that in mind. You can't just keep adding cycles. So let's say 180. And actually, I can just uh, uh, move this down to here. And then maybe uh, after it goes to neg uh after it goes to 180. I want it to go back to uh, let's say zero. So what I'm doing is uh, this uh, keyframe. I select it and then hit the Control C on my keyboard, and then uh, let's say I want to place it over here. And then maybe after a couple of seconds, we want it to be uh, we we want it to go to negative 180 like so. And I'll um, go ahead and make this a smooth keyframe, and I'll go ahead and show you how this looks. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.